welcome to In the Kitchen with KNC Taxidermy. And today we are doing bison burgers or buffalo or whatever you want to call it. American, this is the American bison. Um, there's also the Cape buffalo, which is the water buffalo over uh, in Africa, I believe. But this is, I've received this animal from one of my exotics that they want mounted and didn't need all the meat. So I have some of the meat that I processed myself. And as you can see here, we have a fine grind of hamburger that we made out of the bison meat or buffalo. So tonight for dinner, we are going to do bison burgers. I am going to prep this and make patties and I just go ahead and start with my ground meat. I've got my, my ground meat thawed out and, and I actually went back cause I had, it was, it was a large grind and I went back and ground it again into a finer grind uh, just to tenderize it a little bit more. And the finer you grind it, the more tender it'll be. So I went back and ground uh, in my in my kitchen aid it has a grinding attachment and i just went ahead and and uh attached and just ran it through once i thawed it out and ground it again and so first i'm going to start mixing into this i'm going to start by seasoning it and pretty much i'm just going to with this is i got two 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 pound packets out of the freezer so this is four pounds of ground meat so i'm just gonna i'm gonna season it with this here is a just your general steak seasoning you can whichever one you prefer or anything like that uh this is just a basic one i get at walmart i believe it's a great value brand steak seasoning and uh and i've got a tablespoon of that i'm going to go ahead and sprinkle that in there and then i've got a teaspoon of paprika I've got a teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of onion powder. Now the steak seasoning already has some pepper in it, but I always add just a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. So we're just going to put some in that and so and then as you can see I've got all my dry ingredients in there mixed in with my ground meat and I am just going to mix that up kind of get that mixed in there and then I'm going to start hand patting out some patties here to put on the grill it's pretty basic if you can't already tell just by looking at it, just from stirring it up, if you notice how red it is, this is, you know, the thing about wild game or just wild meat and period, period is you don't have the fat content. You don't have the high cholesterol. It's better for cholesterol. It's better for fat. You don't have, you know, you don't have all the bad stuff in it and it's basically grass-fed beef so and to me it it tastes even better it's got a richer better foot not that it's all that different but it's not it's not going to leave your stomach feeling yucky either because it doesn't have all the grease and the fat so you can enjoy, enjoy it i mean i make venison burgers i make you know, bison burgers. I make. I've. I've made. I've made it out of. Shoot from the exotics and stuff. I've had any everything from wildebeest to all dead to all kinds of antelope and stuff like that. And they just. And I even like to make burgers out of bear. Now they are fattier, but they also because of that they make a really good hamburger. But um. If you, it's just a leaner meat and overall it's a healthier meat. So, uh, and the color's just, just beautiful. If you, 
are one to handle your own meat, you can definitely tell the difference. There's not all the fat. And you know how if you do if you do hamburger, raw hamburger that you buy from the store, cow beef hamburger, you know how you have your hands are usually coated in fat or grease? You don't get that. You don't get that with your wild game. So that's another bonus. Now that we've got our patties made, we're getting our grill uh, preheated. And I use the copper mats, even though they're not as greasy or oily, um, I still don't, it's still an open flame and I don't want the outside cooking faster than the inside. So I still use copper mats on my grill. Um, and of course it's up to you, however, you, whether you have charcoal or gas grill, um, but, and these, the bison burgers cook just like your beef. So you can do rare, medium, rare, uh, medium, whatever, well done, medium, well. So it's same with the bison. It's just a leaner beef. So it's the same, you're using the same methods, cooking methods as you would with beef burgers. So there's nothing different there. Um, but as you can see, you're, you're not gonna, they're not gonna catch fire and stuff like that. It doesn't have the fat in it that it does, that, you know, like beef burger does or anything like that because it does not have the fat in it. So we are going to get these on the grill and we are going to get them cooked and then we're going to get our buns and our lettuce and tomato. We're gonna get them plated and it will be time to eat. Here's our finished bison burger. As you can see, we have our uh, delicious pasta salad as a side. If you would love that uh, recipe for our ranch pasta salad, there's a video coming out for that too. So be sure to subscribe and follow along and you'll receive more recipes. We have our condiments and toppings and I wanted to make sure we also um, a good friend of mine is a big mushroomer and we have some sauteed chicken of the woods and onions that we also added to our bison burger. It's all about getting out in the woods and eating healthy and being a part of nature. And so you can, you can put it all together and make good meals out of it. And that's what we're doing here. And I hope you enjoyed it and hope you try it. And remember, to subscribe and follow along for more great recipes. Hi guys and welcome back to KNC Taxidermy. Be sure to subscribe to our page so you can be part of all the stuff we're gonna be doing this summer. You can see we're gonna be doing a red stag. Last year we did the Oryx. This year the exotic is the red stag. So if you wanna be part of our Q and A's and when we go live and get notifications for that, be sure you subscribe to our page at KC Taxidermy. 
and we'll see you then.